Hi guys, hope all of you are doing well. I treated myself in buying a HCC Vive Pro. Yes, mainly for the tons and tons of games out there on VR. And because of the good quality you get on a PC VR. But also to write games and publish them. So what I thought I want to do is, I want to make a few videos showing you how easy it is to make games and projects in VR. Before we start this video, I just want to quickly remind you about two things that you must remember to make sure of. Otherwise you're gonna drive back and forth like me from my house to town and back and to town again and back. Firstly, what you must remember, all the chargers and all the plugs inside of this Vive Pro setup all of them is the British standard and they look like this so make sure if your wall unit or ele electricity plug is not the same as the one supplied by the Vive then make sure to get an adapter from any outdoor store then another thing you must bear in mind if you're gonna mount your base stations against the wall make sure while you're in, in town go to a DIY store and get proper wall plugs so you don't have to drive back and forth to get proper ones to mount your base bases against the wall now with the nitty gritty out of the way let's start and ha have some fun what I'm going to show you in this video is how to make your own 360 view in Unity and how you can use it. So let's start. First things first, what you do is you open up your Unity app, then you go to New, you call your project whatever you want to. I'm going to call this one 360 view. You put it in the location where you want to save it on your hard drive. You hit create, then you wait for Unity to process and open up your new scene and your new project. And we're in our new project. Now let's start assemble the whole setup. Firstly what you must do is you go to asset store and then you go search and then you search for Steam VR. see the icon looks like this then you click on it if it's the first time that you're clicking on the Steam VR it's gonna ask you to download so then just make sure you're in your account and download it and after you've downloaded it it's gonna ask you if you want to import then you just click on import and it's gonna start importing all the packages import after it is imported then you can go back to your inspector you will see it will ask you and it will recommend project settings for Steam VR what you can do is you can just click on accept all and wait for it to install the packages that's required it will tell you you made the right choice you can click on OK and then you're in your project now that everything is set up let's quickly run a test and just make sure Unity is picking up our VR headset let's go to the sample scene let's say create a 3D object and let's say let's make a plane alright and make sure the position is 0 0 0 just for the testing let's quickly click there again 3D object let's make a cube just position it on top of that plane that we've created now and then just you can either right click and say duplicate just drag that one out so you can just have some more references and let's just make a third one duplicate 
we just push it to that side alright what you do now is now you click on play it will ask you again for all the recommendations you just say accept all you say ok then you take your headset now you will see through your headset the three cubes that you created so in other words it is picking up everything so if you see this image then you know it's picking up what you've created just now if you do not see the scene that I showed you now with the three cubes in then make sure of two things make sure both your base stations are on and they are tracking also make sure that your headset is being picked up and also double check and make sure that the VR is running the Steam VR now that you know Unity is picking up your VR headset and everything is working let's go back to the project that we're busy with in the assets folder right click and say create say folder and let's call it 360 project you go into that folder then you right click again you say create again and then you search for material you click on material and you can call that material skybox skybox enter then you'll see on in your inspector tab there where it says shader there's a drop down menu click on the drop down menu and you'll see it will give you a lot of options now what you can do is you click on skybox and it will give you another option of what you can do the one that you must pick is the panoramic one after you created your skybox material then go up to windows search for rendering and then lightning settings it will open up a new tab for you then you can drag this tab for easy reference and drop it next to your inspector and asset store you will notice the skybox material that you created is already in your skybox material in your lightning settings so if you go to game now to the game view you will see the skybox that you created so if you go back to your project and if you click on the skybox and you click on inspector then what you can do is here where it say no texture you can click select and you can pick any picture that you want to put in there for your skybox you can put it in there let's say for instance we take this ye yellow picture here and if you go and have a look at your game view now then it changed your skybox so what what we're going to do is let's go back to our skybo skybox material just select it there let's just make it none again make sure it's like we selected and then you see it still looks it still has got that grey color what you do now is now you click on skybox then you press ctrl and D to duplicate it it will make it will duplicate the material right click and then you say rename and you call it video background Okay, then in your hierarchy you right click you go down to video click on video player and it will create a video player for you with all of this created now now you can go and you can import your 360 video that you downloaded either from the internet 
or from one that you made. Okay, now it's in your folder that you created, the 360 project folder. Now what you do is now, you click on your video player in the hierarchy and you'll see in the inspector, it will show there your video clip is currently none. So what you do is, now you drag your video that you imported, you drag it to that slot and it will be in the video clip slot. Alright, now there's a few things that you must bear in mind and that you must tick. Make sure the play on the wake is tick. Wait for first frame is tick. And then here where it says loop, you must make sure it's ticked as well. Then here by render mode, you must make sure the render mode says render texture. You'll see if you click there, there's a lot of options that you can choose from but the one that must be marked is render texture the next step that you do is you click you right click in your folder that you created you go to create and then you look for render texture click on render texture alright you see now it asks you the size as default it's set at 256 by 256 what it means is that must be the size of your video now to get the size of your video click on your video that you imported and in the inspector tab you'll see it will show you a small preview of your video so what you do is now you'll see just next to your name of your video there's a drop down arrow you click on the, that drop down arrow then it shows you source info you click on source info and then it will give you all the information of that specific video but the one that we're looking for is the pixel size the size of the video 1920 by 960 so what you do is now now you go back to render mode put in 1920 by 960 after you, after you put in your sizes then the next thing that you must do is here where it say depth bu buffer you click on the drop down menu then you say no buffer and then a little bit further down you'll see it ask you wrap mode now here by wrap mode click the drop down menu and then you click on the per axis after you click on and change it to per axis you will see there's a U axis and it's currently at clamp so what you do is you click on the drop down menu and you click on repeat and the V axis you leave on clamp the next step is to click on your video player and then you will see in your inspector at the target texture currently it's set to non render texture so what you do is now now you go to your material that you created that render texture you drag that render texture into the target texture of the video player now after you've done that now what you do is you click on lightning again on the lightning tab and then you take your video background that you created, your video background material you drag that and you drop it into your skybox material and now that everything is set up now we must just quickly do the final touches what you do is you go to your main camera that's automatically the default camera you delete that camera and then here in the project tab by the search section you type in camera you'll see there's one that says camera rig you drag and drop it into your scene and then what you do is the plane and the three cubes that you that you uh, created and that you dropped into your main scene you just quickly bring it up again those three cubes and the plane 
you highlight all of them right click and you delete them and now it's time to test and see if it work one important thing I almost forgot before we run the test click on your video background so that it can be displayed in your uh, inspector and then you will see it shows there by the texture there's nothing in the texture now what's going to happen is if you play if you press play it's not going to render the video so what you need to do is take the that, that render texture that you created and drag and drop it into that texture now now you can run your program press play and then as you can see now you are in your 360 view world and you can have a look around you and everything that you placed on full is on your video now and there you go guys thanks for watching this video I hope you liked it and if you did please hit that like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss out on the next videos I'm going to post on VR and yeah send me a request on anything else that you want to know or want to see and I'll compile a video for you until next time goodbye